All right, what's up guys? Today we have a different type of video from the usual. You know, since the Supreme's off season, I've been doing collection videos. I'm gonna do something a little different, give us a break between collection videos. If you wanna see the collection videos, I already did the hats, all my Supreme hats, all my Supreme shoes, and all my Supreme skateboards, which was a long one. So if you guys wanna see those videos, go check them out. But this video is basically my favorite Supreme, Supreme items I own and the least favorite Supreme items like in each category. Basically, I'm gonna show you like the favorite of like t-shirt, favorite hoodie, favorite jacket, favorite shoes, favorite hat, favorite accessory, favorite cut and sewn. And on the other aspect, I'm gonna show you like my least favorite one that I remember just like not liking at all. All right guys, we're gonna start out with hoodies. This is my most favorite, like the best hoodie I have in my collection. Uh, I don't have many, but that's of course I think what a, it's a staple in like anyone's, uh, I guess, collection or wardrobe. The Supreme Box logo hoodie, of course, like with the most hyped item every year for spring clothing wise. This of course is the Tonal Box logo. This came out in fall winter 2015. Heavyweight box logo hoodie, just all black. The only branding is that Supreme box logo right there. I like it. Uh, I think it's a little bit different. I like, I like, I wear pretty much black all the time, so I went with black. A lot of people didn't like it because you can barely see it, but I thought it was cool and it was something different because they always do the black with the white Supreme every single year, it seems like. So this one, you know, you got the best of both worlds. A little different and it's black for me at least. So this is definitely a staple piece of my collection. And for my least favorite hoodie, that I can think in a uh, memory that just sticks out to me would be from spring summer 2018 the landscape hoodie um, I just really did not like how light it was the colors looked watercolor it looked super simple it looked very childish and it was just like something I just like it's I mean this is all my opinion this is just something like I would never want never wear I didn't understand the hype around it I know it's always kind of based off an artist I just really didn't dislike this hoodie a lot didn't like it at all colors just the graphic it's just it just wasn't for me so that's like my least favorite hoodie i think next up we have t-shirts now if you guys know me you know how those but this is like my main thing for collecting supreme i got tons of t-shirts lots of lots of them are black um it's the thing i probably have been collecting the most and have the most of maybe more actually i have more t-shirts than decks probably but you get some of you might have guessed it i always talk about this shirt this is from spring summer 20 or 2009 no apologies uh t-shirt black uh, I'll just kind of show you all about it on, on the back Supreme Box logo. This uh, this is just one of the first t-shirts I remember getting. Um, 2009, so I was like 19 years old. I just liked like the direction Supreme was going back then. They have a very kind of punk rocky, kind of like retro, like grungy kind of t-shirt vibe. You know, it's just like simple and it looks like it was from something like a punk rock album, something like that. But this actually was from a, uh, a pamphlet handed out at like I think the Milk, Harvey Milk trial, I think his name, first name was Milk in San Francisco, I'm pretty sure. And it had like no apologies and it was like a cop car burning and they took it off that pamphlet. I remember, it's, I like loosely remember that story. I didn't really research before I did this, I should have. But that's w what the whole inspiration is from. That's why I used to look, that's why I still love a lot of Supreme t-shirts because all of them back in the day, they always had like some inspirations. So like you look at this and you're like, what is that from? and you kind of like learn about it and it kind of educates you. So that's my favorite t-shirt of all time that I own from Supreme. Least favorite, I think both of these are kind of, the, they get like older, like the, the I think the hoodie was from this year and this t-shirt is from this year, but there is little older items out there too. I'm just not picking like most recent stuff I, I dislike. This though, I thought was a huge letdown, the Spitfire t-shirt, um, of course, this just happened spring summer 2018. Um, I don't I don't like this doodle graphic. I don't like the material, the content, and, this, and the big reason why I think it's my least favorite t-shirt because it was a great collaboration, Supreme and Spitfire fine collab on clothing, and this is the t-shirt we got. I realized the t-shirt from back in the day, they brought it back, but some things, just because it was back in the day, doesn't mean it was a great t-shirt. So I was super let down by that t-shirt. So that is my least favorite t-shirt Supreme has put out. Right, getting into jackets, this is my favorite jacket I own. And one of my favorite jackets that Supreme has ever released. The only other jacket I can think of I really liked was like the Rosebud um, kind of bomber jacket. I missed out on, they had two Rosebuds right here. And I remember some guy at Nike Talk saying they, they're gonna call you Rose Tits if you buy that to someone. And that kind of made me like not want it. Now I regret not having it. But getting into the jacket I own though, this of course from spring summer 2015. Um, I actually got this in New York, so it's a lighter jacket, a windbreaker material. It's got a very 90s vibe to it, and I, I'm pretty sure, like, Dead On was um, inspired by Piet Mondron. I think that's how he spells his last name, but he has paintings that look just like this color blocking right here. 
And there was a black one too. I went with like this teal one. I thought the teal one looked better, but the black ones look just like his paintings with the color blocking and everything. Definitely a cool jacket, definitely stands out. I, I really can't think of anything Supreme has released recently, like anything like this. This is a pretty much a, a good one to have. My least favorite jacket that Supreme has put out that I can remember has to be the North Face mountain print uh, jacket. This was from fall, winter, I forgot what it was. All right, my least favorite jacket that Supreme has put out has to be this North Face collab with the mountain logo on it. Uh, fall, winter 2017 it released. I thought this print just looked like something from like a Windows desktop screensaver. Just the whole print on like the jacket. I just thought it, lo it looks super weird wearing. It looks like you're almost wearing like a like a picture or something. Like I just, I just, it doesn't, like aesthetically, like on clothing, I think it just looks terrible. Um, a lot, I seem like a lot of people liked it though. I don't, I don't get it. I just, that'd be like a, someone skiing and you're wearing like a, a mountain parka. It just look, it just looks weird to me. I don't get it. It'd be like skateboarding and wearing a t-shirt with like a big half pipe photo on it. Like it's just like kind of corny to me. But um, yeah, that's just my opinion. Don't freak out on me. I know everyone like North Face could release like a piece of shit on a, on a jacket and people are like the North Face, but whatever. But um, yeah, definitely my least favorite jacket at North Face collaboration. Get into some uh, cut and sewn stuff. This could have been like polos, button up, stuff like that. Their cut and sewn stuff always seems has, an, has to have a nice fit, nice quality. And I went with something that I just think is classic. I always thought I'm really happy I always picked this up. I think it's a cool design. This is of course the Sunflower, Sunflower Polo. Got it in kind of like this like lighter kind of faded blue. Um, this is just like my go-to polo if I want to look a little, you know, like a little fancy. And I think it just looks really cool with the print all over it, sunflowers. This is like something you'd never see like in a store or anything like that. That's why I think we all like Supreme because they put out stuff like this. This was a uh, spring summer 2015, I'm pretty sure, 2015. And yeah, so that's definitely my uh, favorite cut and sewn. Um, and one of my least favorite actual prints that Supreme has ever put out is this alphabet weird thing that they put out this year, spring summer 2018. A lot of people didn't like it, and then they got a cease and desist apparently, and then everyone wanted it. It's a button up, which I think with this print all over it just looks super just weird. I don't know, I hate the print. And when you look up close, it's like people bending and doing weird shit. And they say like fuck on it and stuff. I just think it's like super like, I don't know. It's a little cringy to me, but you know, if you like it, you like it. Definitely was not my favorite. That's my least favorite cut and sewn that Supreme is putting out. And we'll get into hats now. Hats, I really like hats. It's something really simple. I can just complete the whole outfit. And um, I always go with this one. I think this is pretty much a staple, you know, not crazy design, nothing insane, but just the S logo. The heritage behind it, how classic it is, how easy and simple it is. This is just a six panel on the back, Supreme, and then you got a little leather strap. This one is just the cotton one. I think this is from 2015, maybe 2014 spring, summer. And um, I just always throw this hat on. It's easy, it fits great, that's, and it's just simple. That's why I think it's like the best hat. You know, it's like a staple. Like everyone wears like a, uh, like a Yankees hat. It's a staple, I think, within, within Supreme or a Dodgers hat for my California guys. Um, so I think it's just like staple within Supreme. I think it's everyone has, you know, you gotta have an S logo in your collection. My favorite Supreme hat, I think the best Supreme hat out there right now. I prefer this over camp caps and box logos. It's the S logo, simple, and they got Supreme on the back. My least favorite hat Supreme has put out it has to be from fall winter 2016. Not too far ago, but um, just something that I always thought like was so dumb. They put out this camp cap. It says suck all over it. I just thought it looked obnoxious. I feel like when they just repeat words all over a hat, I feel like that's super lazy. Just let's put suck and just print all over the hat. We're done. Boom. I didn't. I don't like it. I think it's stupid. I think it's, it was like unnecessary. Like, what's the point? But suck. Fall winter. Uh, what was it? Fall winter 2016. Least here at Hat Supreme put out. All right, we'll get into pants. Uh, I grab a quite a few Supreme pants, but I always think of these pants. I always thought they were cool. I always want to buy more, but I just can never find ones that I actually like anymore. These are the Supreme. Champion track pants as you can see champion right here They got this kind of like little nylon cotton material and then just down the sides. It says supreme with the champion logo There you go black of course and I also got the jack to match it um, I just thought these were always super cool like even like like on the pockets like there's details on like on the pockets It's a zip up on the bottom. You can unzip it and make it wider like a bootleg or something like that It's a little, little stretchy elastic bottoms yeah, these are my go-to pants. Um, I just like lazy little track pants with a little, like some flare on the back even has a zipper. And yeah, I haven't seen anything Supreme put anything out like this. You know, usually it's just like champion down the leg or something like that screen printed. So really happy to have these ones. The fit is a little weird. 
But um, yeah, they're my go-to pants. I think they're really cool. They're my most, like fav my favorite Supreme pants I own. I think these are from actually fall, winter 2015. I forget, but they're really, I know they're, they're, they're pretty old too. I think fall, winter 2015, fall, winter 2014. Right, least favorite pants, and they're from this season, and it's spring, summer 2018, last season. And it's one of my least favorite prints I think Supreme has put out. I think they put out two of my least favorite prints ever in spring, summer 2018. Um, the outfit, and then now this Vibrations. I don't get this Vibrations. It looks messy, it looks cluttered, it looks just oversaturated how they screen printed it on the pants, especially in this red colorway. I don't think anyone really could pull this off. Really disliked it. The images were like whatever, just really just like a pant that you're like, yeah. Are right, getting into shoes? Um, you guys probably all already guessed this from my past shoe collection video if you watched it. Um, my favorite shoe, Supreme Half Cab Comb Digger Sun Vans. This is the navy and red colorway. This released spring summer 2015. A lot of good stuff released in spring summer 2015. I'm pretty sure these are spring summer 2015. It's a classic shoe, first off. The half cab is my favorite skate shoe. I actually really like seeing the half cab. Just the print all over the shoe, the, the digi with the red dots, I think really pop. It stands out. And then on the background, you just have like the Comedy Garçon shirt material. Inside's that leather pig skin. Gumps on the bottom, classic. Oh, these are like my favorite. If I ever have to, have to need like kind of a fancy, you know, I want to stand out a little bit shoe, I always go with these. These are just a classic Supreme. And I think it was the best Comme des Garçons collaboration they've done. And I think it was pretty much the best fan collaboration they've ever done. So definitely a favorite shoe, Comme des Garçons 2015 collaboration half cap. Something else from this season. I don't know, I'm not doing this on purpose. Like I'm actually thinking of stuff. Maybe just like it's what's in most recent memory. But Spring Summer 2018, collaboration with Nike. These were the Spectrum stri Streaks. And not the, the white ones, I was iffy about. They're, you know, they're okay if you like them. But the black ones, I just thought were, were just so terrible. They didn't look right. It just looked later like, we have a white shoe, let's just do a black one, make it, you know, like green or something. And it just didn't look like, it looked half ass. I don't think it looked good at all. So definitely just, you couldn't even like, I wouldn't even buy those shoes probably for like 50 bucks if I saw them on like an outlet. So definitely my least favorite shoe Supreme has put out. Are we getting into accessories? And I thought about this, like there's a lot of accessories. I could have picked a necklace, um, an ashtray, something like that. But I thought about like, what do I actually use a lot? What do I really like? And something I picked was a favorite Supreme accessory is my Comme des Garçons Supreme wallet. You can tell it's leather, you get Supreme across the whole back, the white dots. This of course was from 2016, Comme des Garçons collaboration with Supreme when they did the Harold Hunter vans and the Harold Hunter shirt. This was like the accessory they did with it. In the, you open up, no, there's multiple reasons why I like this. I like the print on the, I print on the outside. I think it looks super cool. It's leather. It's a zip up too. Like all my wallets have to be zipped because I just get paranoid something's gonna fall out. So I'll never have a non-zip wallet. And inside there's room for coins. Like you can never find a wallet where you can have coins. And you're like, why do you need coins? I don't know. But I would like to have like four quarters in there for something, you know? <clears throat> and then you got four little, Places for your credit card, Supreme Comme des Garçons right there in gold, and then just one little opener on the top, and you put all your money in there or whatever, and I just think it's a really cool wallet, and it's lasted me all this time, and still looks pretty good too, Comme des Garçons Supreme wallet. I feel like this will probably be the most disputed, um, least favorite item from Supreme. The spring, summer, or was it spring, summer? Fall, winter, 2016 brick. I just thought this... First off, it was so dumb that anyone paid 20, was it $20 for like a 50 cent brick or whatever. And then I feel like it just made Supreme into like a meme kind of brand. Like people that don't even collect Supreme will bring it up like, did you did you buy the brick? And it's like, thanks Supreme, you know, now it just, it just made it into like a whole joke. It was like, they were just like, I feel like they were like, like make like making fun of the, like their customers when they put out this brick. Maybe I'm reading too deep into it. It's like, hey, let's make a brick and I bet they'll buy it. I'm sorry, but like I feel like that's how Supreme like put it out there. Like they'll buy anything. Let's do this. So that's my least favorite accessory. There's no point to it. I think it a lot of, brought a lot of negative like jokes to the whole brand too when they put that out. It was just so ridiculous. So that's my least favorite accessory, the Supreme brick. And I know a lot of you're gonna agree disagree with me, and that's okay. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Tell me how much you hate me. I appreciate it. And to the last category, Supreme decks. You guys know I've been skating for a long time. I collect a lot of decks. So this is probably like my favorite category with Supreme. Like I've said, you know, I want more artist decks and stuff like that. And I feel like Supreme, you know, they've been making a lot more artist decks. So I'm happy with what they're going with their deck collaboration and stuff like that. For this one, I couldn't just pick one deck. I just picked a collaboration. And you guys probably already know, if you saw my deck video, I had to go with the Mike Hill Spring Summer 2017 collaboration. He put out four decks, if you don't know Mike Hill. 
He is the co-creator of uh, Alien Workshop. He did a lot of um, like clay mold paper mache stuff. That's like his style right here. Here's one of the boards. This was like one of the more rare ones to get for some reason. That was hard to find a little bit. Um, it's real hard to find just by itself too. They're always selling the set. It's the second one, the Regretter one. And I got all the t-shirts too. Like this is like my favorite, one of my, probably is my favorite collaboration of all time. Second one. This is probably my favorite one. This is, I think this is like the main one everyone kind of like went after, I think. Probably the most popular, but yeah, I really like this one a lot too. Just the colors and everything, the brains. I think it looks really cool. Scream on the bottom. And, and the last one, like this guy. This one is a little creepy. They got the rabbit chasing it. I just like the detail on these, the paper mache, the weirdness of it. Mike Hill is also plus. So they have little details like they have Supreme in the name. It's, I think it was really cool and real thought after. It's original stuff for Supreme. So these are really cool boards to get. So my least favorite board, like this is a hard, hard to choose because most of their boards, you know, it's even, you know, anything you can really put on a board. I think it looks, what they've selected have been cool. Um, but I'm just gonna have to go basically with what I thought was such a weak collaboration. I think the Hellraiser skateboard was so weak and just like, they literally copy and pasted the logo on shirts that already existed. They just use one image basically and put it on everything. And I, I, feel, I was really let down, you know, like even if I'm not a fan of the movie, I don't like Hellraiser. It's like my least favorite horror movie guy ever. I didn't like the movie at all either. That was real, you know, it's not my thing. Like I like Michael Myers. I like Freddy. Jason's okay for me. Um, yeah, those are like the two movies I really like. I really like Halloween. Halloween is like my favorite movie of all time. Michael Myers was scared as fuck. Wasn't a Hellraiser fan. Thought the collaboration was real weak of them. And for you Hellraiser fans that are mad at me, you guys deserved a better collaboration if Supreme was gonna do one than just like shit you can buy on Amazon already without a Supreme box logo. So I'm gonna go with the Hellraiser skateboard. I feel like it could have been better as a collab as overall, but it was a hard pick. All right, guys, you um, seen my best and worst kind of Supreme items that I that I own, my best ones, and I thought, no, how originally I was gonna do it was gonna be like the best times I own and the worst times I own. And I realized like I, everything, I everything I have I like, so I can't do what I have worst item I own. So I just picked the best items I like from my collection and the worst items I can think of in that category. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys disagree. I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna disagree. This is just my opinion. Um, yeah, let me know what you think is like just the worst Supreme item that they have put out and what's like your favorite item they put out. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. I'll read them, go back and forth with you guys. I really pre appreciate that communication and that community. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram for more like stuff and update content, Mike.Kilroy, and I appreciate it as always. And I will see you in the next video next week, Fridays, always, usually around like 7 p.m. Eastern. So thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it and see you next time. And another aspect, as, why did I say it's allowed? All right, now we're, <clears throat> my voice is dying, oh shit. Mm.